Today we're going to demonstrate a process, a chemical break-in process for ribbon fiber. This uh, concept has been on the market, it's patented, um, it's been around for about five or six years, but in recent times it's gained um, more importance as more ribbon is deployed. Uh, this doesn't require a knife or an exacto uh, blade or uh, a tool that requires uh, re recalibration. The solvent is Electrowash NXO, and this solvent must not be used for end face cleaning or on any plastic surface. It's solely, uh, solely used in this technique. You'll notice that we've already removed the gel on this older cable using Electrowash MXO pre-saturated pads. Um, this is a non-terpene product. Uh, what that means is it's a self-evaporator. It doesn't require an afterwash with isopropyl alcohol as some of the other products uh, do. So this is really pretty simple. Inside the kit are a series of foils. The ribbon is placed inside the lint-free wiper. Like this. And then uh, the NXO, about the size of a, of a small pancake, is sprayed over the, uh, the ribbon. This is tented then. This really isn't necessary, but um, if, it were, um, if it were hot out, um, uh, the NXO will flash off pretty quickly. So this is a good process to, um, uh, to initiate and then wait. This, um, this has been timed on about 20 different ribbons. Um, it works on the Draca, um, contemporary Draca, and that generation, and of course on the earlier uh, ribbon that's, um, that's deployed. Again, it's a time process. Um, uh, typically on a, uh, on a Draca, the break-in is, um, is done in about uh, two minutes. Sometimes you may have to go back and, um, and resaturate. But um, uh, two minutes on some of the early cornings, it's less than a minute. So this video has been running about three minutes. Um, that ribbon has been in there about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. I'm just going to give it a little bit um, uh, longer. Again, um, I, I caution you, don't use the NXO on an end face or any plastic surfaces. Um, it, because it evaporates very quickly, this solvent will not break through. Uh, the coating or the cladding. This was part of the vetting process um, over the uh, over the years. So uh, let's take a look. There are eight foils in here. Um, uh, you'll reuse them, um, you know, eight to ten times. And you're breaking. All I'm doing is rubbing, rounding that my my finger. And that that saw that ribbon is easy to access, easy to pull out. Uh, you know, for that um, you know two or three feet that you may need to um, uh, to do, to do the splice. This is uh, packaged under a CFK um, uh, 2000 from Chemtronics.